Okay. Um, so on this webinar, we're going to uh, talk about a set of tools um, for core teams on campaigns to manage projects. Um, and at the, the root of it, uh, you know, campaign is a group of people coming together uh, to get a job done, uh, to win on E-Day, and, uh, and ideally through the process of, um, of planning and managing a project, you're going to be actually growing uh, the people involved in your campaign and, um, and ideally uh, having uh, a, a broader and broader, more diverse group of people uh, working for you uh, in order to get the job done. Um, so the process of team planning, uh, the process of, uh, of working on projects uh, has certainly the benefit of uh, getting you closer to that goal of winning, but it also uh, has the benefit of providing an opportunity um, to distribute leadership on your team, basically to, um, uh, to, to, to distribute the, um, the ability to, um, to lead a small group of people and to grow your organizing effort. Um, and so the goal here, and you can see this is a, a framework uh, we like to use a democracy kit borrowed from uh, the Gantz uh, leadership models uh, in terms of snowflake model of organizing and uh, essentially the tools that we're uh, going to be discussing today are handpicked um, to uh, to, and and tested um, to support this style of organizing where essentially the same tools that you can use for your central team uh, can be used by a, a local neighborhood um, a team for an event or they could be um, used by a much broader uh, mayoral effort or um, uh, at even a party level or whatnot. So you've got uh, basically a tool, set of tools here that we're gonna go over that can support basically a, a very small local event effort project for zero dollars, you know, um, to get started, or it could be uh, a massive uh, thousand of people, a mobilization effort across a region or a country. Okay, um, and so the tools we're going to cover are Google Groups, G Suite, uh, the Google Suite of apps, used to be called Google Apps, if you're familiar with that term, uh, Trello and Slack. And hopefully um, some of these tools are familiar to those of you on the line, um, but if not, this is going to be a, a good overview and introduction to, uh, to, the, to the suite. Um, before we jump right in, again, I think it's important to uh, assess or to clarify some of the criteria that we've established for choosing um, software as a service tools. So, uh, because there's lots of tools on the marketplace, we'll talk about some. Uh, it is important to understand why um, you're selecting tools because lots of people are going to come to you with ideas about the latest and greatest tool to use. Um, but uh, just because a tool says it does something or somebody, um, you know, it may, it may actually be a better in some cases, but um, standardization is absolutely essential if you're looking to uh, grow your team in a systematic way. Um, and so once you've made a decision at the beginning of the campaign, um, pretty much you should stick with, uh, with your decision around your core team tools through the campaign um, because uh, the, the cost of, of changing, uh, you know, at least your, your core tools can be, can be quite high. Of course, you may need to course correct if, uh, if something's not working for you and, uh, and that's, not, uh, that's not a huge problem but you definitely don't want to be uh, um, uh, changing too frequently. So accessibility um, uh, in terms of the cost uh, and the ability to admin uh, of uh, non-developers or folks who are, you know, um, uh, who don't have a, a computer or IT background, the ability for them to uh, administer the system. So that's one criteria. I'm definitely looking to make sure we've got tools that uh, that are uh, accessible you're able to uh, to administer uh, as easily as possible um, affordability uh, starting at a free trial or ideally at, at no cost uh, and then have been proven to scale uh, on large campaigns or enterprise type projects uh, sustain uh, Sustainability, uh, and to that, uh, you know, maybe you may have a team member right now on your team who has a, a development background, um, and that's great. They can 
set something custom up for you now. However, the problem comes a couple months later when that person leaves uh, or on your next campaign when you don't have that same set of skills around. So what you want to be looking for is especially uh, uh, for a local uh, campaign uh, team is our tools that are going to um, be able to grow with you and be sustainable campaign after campaign over multiple cycles. Uh, and so what we're uh, looking at here is, you know, things like tech support desk, um, uh, you know, clear uh, uh, attention to the key security items, you know, that you need updates and whatnot uh, that you have to be uh, aware of, ability to manage permissions and whatnot effectively. Um, and so uh, that's what we mean meaning by sustainability. Compatibility, uh, then it would be uh, the ability for um, you to get your data out of uh, a system. Uh, you own your, your data, that you can export it, you can ideally integrate the systems through an API um, uh, for the platform. So that's getting it a little bit more into the more advanced, but you want to be make sure that you own your data and that you can get your data out of the platform if you want to move to something else. Okay, so those are some of the criteria that we're, uh, those are the criteria we're using for, um, for selecting uh, the team project management toolkit. Okay, so let's dive right in here. Um, I'm going to go through uh, how you access resources on Democracy Kit, and uh, because uh, we're going to be rolling out this uh, Choose Technology webinar series over the um, the weeks ahead uh, through August, we'll be uh, wrapping up the series uh, towards the end of August uh, in order to make sure that uh, that teams that are going into an election this October have lots of time um, to go through all the, the modules. Um, and so if you come to the homepage of Democracy Kit, I, I would encourage exploring the uh, sections of the site. We've got uh, five, five core sections. So right now, um, they're the Choose Technology module. This is what we're, we're building out. So um, you can see here after this webinar, we're going to be posting this recording. Um, we will also um, be building out uh, this orientation module um, as we go through the uh, through the coming weeks. So we've, right now we're focused on Project Management Toolkit. Uh, this is in the Choose Technology module as well. Uh, we've got links to Democracy Kit library resources so you can see I'm about to uh, reference the team project management uh, resource uh, on the site okay so you with the orientation module in democracy kit just basically orients you to um, uh, the core resources if you're a, a team that's just getting started uh, this is a good place to start after you're familiar with using democracy kit uh, you can just browse the library um, and uh, find the resources you need okay so the Project Management Toolkit. As I said, we're going to cover Trello, Google Drive, or uh, G Suite more generally, uh, Google Apps Suite, Slack, uh, and uh, uh, and talk about uh, some other uh, tools available as well. So here on the Team Project Management Tools resource in the library, um, we've set up a publicly viewable set of uh, basically uh, orientation resources for each of the platforms in the kit. So uh, 